ఫ్రీ ఆఫ్ కాకుండా ప్రొఫెసర్ విజయ రంగరాజన్ ఆఫ్ ఎంఐటి అండ్ ఈ గేవ్ సమ్ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ స్టాటిస్టిక్ సపోర్ట్ దిస్ టైమ్ ఫ్రీ ఆఫ్ క్లాక్ టెన్ మినిట్స్ లేటర్ ఫిఫ్టీ పర్సెంట్ ఆఫ్ ద ఆడియన్స్ ఇన్ దిస్ టైమ్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ మినిట్స్ లేటర్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ మినిట్స్ లేటర్ ట్వంటీ మినిట్స్ లేటర్ ఎవ్రీ వన్ విల్ గెస్ట్ so good thing about this so good thing about this and get away with it so thank you very much for uh, for uh, uh, to listen to this uh, session and um, as alok was mentioning that like, you know the infrastructure piece is becoming extremely important these days the growth of the infrastructure growth of the data is really mind boggling is really mind boggling see what has happened in the last few years specifically is that this infrastructure management is becoming extremely important and also as far as india is concerned the growth in this segment has become um phenomenal um phenomenal. i don't know how many of you are aware infrastructure management remote infrastructure management is the fastest growing segment in uh, outsourcing as well as offshore so that's that's what it is so in this session um i don't know sir how am how am i doing on time sir am i doing on time i have uh, should i cut it by 15 20 minutes take by 15 20 minutes makes it even easier because 20 minutes by the time you get to sleep and another 20 minutes and another 20 minutes Okay. Okay. So, what we do today is we we'll understand only three things. What is remote infrastructure management? What's the market size? And how much is relevant to you? How much is relevant to opportunities? And then... we will understand what kind of delivery model kind of delivery model in the remote infrastructure plan okay so what is remote infrastructure management so before we understand remote infrastructure management remote infrastructure management infrastructure management infrastructure management infrastructure management link and managing the it infrastructure what does this it infrastructure include it include it where the applications reside it has storage where the data storage where the has the database which structures this data structures this data which makes it this data uh, accessible across different locations we have security which makes the data secure and only authorized users use this data then we have email and desk. then we have email and so these are critical components of it infrastructure so monitoring and managing and man infrastructure is the it infrastructure management space we also have since this it infrastructure is has to be monitored and managed you also need to provide support to the business users to find it users to find you know um customizing or configuring or using this configuring or using so you need to have a service desk which also becomes a part of it a part of it and then we have production support because in these days you know that in these days you know which which resides on this it infrastructure has become extremely mission critical extremely um, extremely um, today globally because no longer is the uh, enterprise you know confined to a specific geography or a specific geography or office location there are mobile users there are users across the globe so the entire it infrastructure has become 24 bar 7 it has become mission critical so you need to provide operational support and production support of this it infrastructure so production support also becomes part of the it infrastructure management 
And then you have to implement, you need to consult and you need to integrate this infrastructure. So consultation and implementation also becomes a part of the IT infrastructure on top of it, the entire application. So if you really look at the components of the IT infrastructure, you typically have three different modules. One is the professional services where you go do consultation and implementation of the IT infrastructure. And then you have uh, managed services where you provide 24 bar 7 operational support, which includes network management, storage management, server management, email management, user management, desktop management. So all these activities come under the IT infrastructure managed services. Then you have the service desk, which actually is the interface between the business users and the IT infrastructure. So they provide solutions to the problems what business users are facing. So three components within the IT infrastructure will be professional services, managed services, and service desk. 